Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Vicious here, back again with another video. In this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and take off the old display from your Honda Civic uh, 2016 models and older. Today, I'm going to be working with the 2017 Model LX. And as you can see, the screen is just way too small and it really does not fit a car that is in the 2017 model. So the first thing you actually want to do is go ahead and disconnect the battery and you can do that by turning off the negative terminal, which is the black cable right here. All you have to do is unscrew that bolt right there and then just pull it off and it should come out. And this is just so that we don't short anything out in the car or blow a fuse or anything. So once you do have the car battery fully turned off, nothing works anymore, um, your car battery is completely empty, this is just so we don't blow a fuse again, you're going to want to take off the Honda Civic trim pieces right here, come along the side here, and they're attached by clips, you can take them off with this, which is I think a dollar at AutoZone, um, if you don't have it, you can use just a very hard plastic card, but I really do recommend this, it makes the job 100% easier, especially with the Honda Civic, the clips are a bit harder to get into. But basically what you're going to do is slide it in between the crease right here and just unclip them one by one. It does take a little effort, so don't be scared to really pull too hard. But you're going to slide it underneath here and just wiggle it out. And then there you go, it comes off. And you want to go ahead and take off both sides of it if it's out of your car. And it comes out like that. Um, as you can see, these are the clips that go inside. And you're basically good. So you're going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Once you do eventually have that off, you're going to want to pull out the AC unit and that's just by grabbing it from underneath and pulling out. Uh, make sure to use two hands, one on each side. So with two hands, I'm just going to pull from under here and it comes out again with two clips on the sides. And just make sure to unclip the cables right here. Um, they have a little pull tab and once you clip that in, it just comes out. And you can put this off to the side. You are going to need this, so make sure you don't throw it out. So I did forget to include this in the video, but you do have to take out these two screws that are labeled right and here. And we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, pulling from under and then the top. And it comes out. And just make sure you actually unplug the cables in the back here before you pull it out all the way. You really don't want to yank any of these out. That can cause you some major issues. But just unplug all these cables out. So here you can see the old screen units, really, really small. It doesn't look great at all. Go ahead and put that off to the side. You are not really gonna need to use anything really from this. You're completely done with that. Uh, but what you do need now is the new screen. And here it is. So as you can see, it's much bigger than what we had originally. I mean, when you compare it screen wise, you're getting a much, much bigger experience, especially speaking about CarPlay and actually playing YouTube videos. So I have connected this before just to make sure everything was working before starting this video. Um, one major thing that was freaking me out was all the wires and everything. And I wanted to tell you guys that you're not gonna be using all the wires. So here's a bit of a diagram on basically what you need to connect. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see this properly, but there's all the cables um, that you do need. The video output doesn't connect into anything. Um, a lot of these don't actually connect into anything, but it's very, very simple. The cables are all uh, labeled out. Um, the instruction manual doesn't do a good job, but everything is just basically like Legos. It's more of a plug and play. I do have the antenna cable plugged in already and the USB cable plugged in. Basically what you want to do with those is you want to just go ahead and, for example, the antenna cable, you want to go ahead and just loop it inside. Now, personally, I don't want it on the outside. I don't really use it. I use my car plate. So you can go ahead and just stick it in there and just connect the cable in the back and then just go ahead and connect the cables from the original car back into the cables which are the extension cables and you want to go ahead and do your microphone um so what i personally found uh is to go ahead and stick it inside and then you do have a little exit from uh, the steering wheel side driver's side and i just went ahead and looped it around the underneath of my car right here plugged it up all the way over here and that's my microphone and it does give you a good sound quality now for this build i am going to be using the original um backup camera i'm not going to be switching that out you do get one with the screen another thing is the actual cable that comes from the car right here it was connected to the previous screen but on this screen it doesn't connect to anything that might be just the old car gps unit that you don't need anymore i did talk to the manufacturer they did confirm this okay so with this we're actually going to go ahead and plug in the ac unit first um before we go ahead and put the screen in now again um just make sure you don't rip out any of the wires or anything i'm going to go ahead and pull out the wires for the ac unit and with the all the extra cables you can just go ahead and put them back in back inside the bowl um it shouldn't really matter so go ahead put this off to the side just 
make sure it's not going to fall in anywhere or anything, and go ahead and plug in the AC unit. Again, we're just going to go ahead and repeat the processes that we actually took to get here, and then the actual screen. So we're going to put that inside. Hope still shows on camera. But basically, um, with this, you're not going to need any of the bolts that came with the uh, original screen. Go ahead and plug that in. And then we're just going to make sure all the cables are actually tucked away inside and not on the outside. Once that's done, you should be able to just go ahead and push it in. We are a bit over. Let's take this out. And there we go. We now have the screen fully installed. Uh, just make sure the clips are fully seated inwards and you should be good. Now, before actually installing in the side skirts again, you do want to check that everything's working. You haven't blown a fuse or anything. So now is a good time to actually go ahead and plug in your car battery. Actual moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and put my key inside and we're going to turn on. Car fully functions. Everything's on and the screen should turn on right there. And there we go. So we have a successful installation. We still haven't tried out everything else, but the car turns on, the screen turns on. We're at a good start here. And here we have the screen. Um, Fully functioning as you can see it'll tell me which uh, door is open or which trunk is open for me the trunk is currently open right now um, but one thing you do want to do um, from the get-go is actually go ahead and connect your phone to Bluetooth you can go ahead and do that through settings so the music thing did bother me at first I did feel like my speakers were a little different it was the music was all cloudy up and especially with the car that is what you're gonna be doing most of the time so the one thing that I found to help is to go into sound effects right here and you're gonna go ahead and turn off hi-fi and set it to custom and that should fix most of the issues there with the sound system other than that you have a screen you have a car and to go ahead and connect to carplay all you really do is go ahead and click phone link and now my phone's actually connected to what i'm recording it'll say connecting and give it a couple of seconds and it should connect but again you do need to go ahead and have bluetooth connect it's much brighter in person than it does look on camera you can go ahead and turn on your maps um, it is going to show my location here, so I am just going to go ahead and lower it, but you basically have everything you can go ahead and text, call um, from the actual display itself, everything works here, and the microphone records your voice, and you can use Hey Siri. I'll just go ahead and install those side skirts for the uh, Honda Civic, and you are basically done. You have everything installed, it looks stock, it looks nice, and you have a brand new screen.